Welcome to The Author Show, where we present new authors and books, from fiction to self-help and everything in between, you'll find it all here. To watch the TV version of our program, visit AuthorsWebTV.com. That's AuthorsWebTV.com. And now, let the show begin. Hello and welcome back to the show. This is your host, Don McCauley. Today we're welcoming to the program author Tanya Oldham. And Tanya is the author of Life Beyond Adversities, Memoirs of a Military Chief. Tanya is a speaker and a singer. She served almost 24 years in the Air Force and retired as a Chief Master Sergeant E-9, the top enlisted rank. She's won numerous awards and includes Senior NCO of the Year, New Member Rotarian of the Year, and an Extraordinary Woman of God nominee. She's a member of the Lakeland North Rotary Club, Charter Member of Women of Power, and Pilgrim Rest Free Will Baptist Church. Tanya, how are you? Good morning, Don. I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Well, let's start with a big question. Tell us about this book, please. Don, the book is an encouraging and inspiring book about my life before, during, and after serving almost 24 years in the Air Force. Now, who did you write this book for specifically? I wrote this book for teachers, preachers, teenagers, college students, or anyone who are dealing with some type of issue, whether it be sexual harassment, illnesses, divorce, financial difficulties, you name it. I wrote this book for individuals that are dealing with issues, challenges, and adversities. Now, could you say there's any type of central message or perhaps underlying theme that runs throughout your book? Yes, I would. The central message and theme is, regardless of your challenges and adversities, with God, all things are possible. If you had to choose, what would you say is the single most important idea you're sharing in your book that's really going to add value to the reader's life? If they are looking for encouragement and inspiration, read the book. If they are enduring challenges and adversities, read the book. If you could compare your book with any book out there we might already be familiar with, which book would it be and why? Let's see. If I can compare that book with any book that's currently on the market or that's out there, I would say Joel Osteen's Your Best Life Now. Through all of the challenges and adversities, God is allowing me to live my best life now. So I would have to say Joel Osteen's Your Best Life Now. Why did you write your book? I wrote it to help encourage and inspire others to move to that next level because I want them to be encouraged in the same manner that I was, although I was enduring quite a few challenges and adversities. So tell us about your military career. What did you enjoy the most about your military career? Oh my goodness, where do you want me to start? I enjoyed the traveling, the camaraderie with the other military members, the education and training, but Don, most of all, I enjoy being able to fulfill my childhood dream, becoming an entertainer. Are you still singing? Yes, I am. As a matter of fact, I'm scheduled to sing the national anthem on February the 6th for a Rotary International 5K run in Lakeland. So let's talk about what you're offering in the book. What kind of encouraging words can you offer to a listener who's facing, say, an illness? The one or should I say the encouraging words that I can offer the listeners is to trust, believe, and have faith in God, but to also pray because God allowed me to endure three tumors, three surgeries, or should I say God helped me to overcome three tumors, three surgeries, and look at me now. I am talking about his goodness, his grace, and his mercy. So if he's done that for me, he can do it for others. Tell us about your three steps ahead approach. The three steps ahead. First of all, I love the number three, Don. I have, there are three girls. I was the 33rd uh, African-American female chief master sergeant. But that three steps ahead is showing initiative, a can-do attitude, and attention to detail. It's basically having the answer to the question before your boss has that opportunity to ask the question. And it's also based on that Trinity approach in life, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. So why is the Trinity so important to you? Because that is the foundation that I was raised and I grew up on. My parents taught us to love, 
fear and to honor God. We grew up with the Trinity in the midst of everything you endure. When you rely on the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, you cannot fail. So you're afraid of heights, yet you joined the Air Force. Why? God, let me tell you, my mindset was becoming an entertainer. Above all else, my goal was to become an entertainer. I wanted to sing and dance. I didn't even think about heights until it was time to board that airplane. It's like, oh, no, wait a minute, heights. I'm afraid of heights. But that's okay. I made it through. Again, I had to remain focused on my goal, and that was to become an entertainer. And I happened to become that entertainer. So tell us about your parents and how they helped you become who you are today. My parents were high school sweethearts. Don, they've been married almost 63 years. Mom's a missionary, dad's a deacon. But we were in church constantly. But they enveloped me with love, a sense of direction, And my parents taught me how to remain and become a lady. I still think about that to this day. My parents were always there for me. And to that, I am just so forever grateful and humble because they are amazing people. Why do you feel it's important to serve others? Because we were all called to serve in some capacity. That's why we are here. Dawn, you know... We are blessed more when we do for others than when we do for ourselves. So I really firmly believe that, yes, I should be serving others. That's my responsibility. What has been your most rewarding experience since publishing your book? Oh, my goodness. Uh, There are so many. But Okay, I'll try and narrow it down. Appearing on the uh, Christian Television Network, the Home Keepers Show with Arthurine Rippey, I was also interviewed at the Dr. Martin Luther King Memorial in Washington, D.C. Those two are set apart from all of my other experiences, but it's been superb. It's been great. How would you describe your writing style? My writing style is easy to read, to the point, uh, conversational. I believe the reader will be able to read that book, embrace it. As a matter of fact, I've been accused of people not getting any sleep because they started reading the book and couldn't put it down and stayed up all night reading the book. Most authors have one specific reason for writing a specific book. What was your reason for writing this book? My reason for writing the book was to encourage and inspire others through my personal testimony because if God allowed me to travel the world and achieve and receive so many exhilarating experiences on top of the adversities and the challenges, he can do the same for others. I want folks to find a hope in how God helped me to make it through, because he could do the same thing for them. If you had to choose, what part of this book would you say you personally like best? Oh, my goodness. What part of the book would I personally like best? I would say the portion regarding the reflections, reflecting on where God had brought me from, also reflecting on the verbiage that I've used throughout the book. I would never leave thee nor forsake thee. That was God's promises, that's still his promises, and I stand on those promises. Other than selling your book, of course, is there anything else you hope to accomplish with it? Yes, what I hope to accomplish, Don, I want to have the opportunity let's just say, to go out and affect the lives of other people who need encouragement. You know, changing lives or helping people to move to that next level, I feel is a far greater calling for me than just saying that, oh, I'm going to sell a book. No, it goes beyond that. Your opinion, who should buy this book? Uh, Let's see, who should buy this book? Men, uh, women, ages 15 and above high school and college students, individuals who are interested in pursuing a military career, people that are currently in the military, Christians looking for hope, inspiration, and encouragement. All of the above can find that by reading my book and referring to God's holy word. Time is getting very short, so the most important question, where can readers find you and your book? Thanks so much, Don, for asking. Readers can find the book at Amazon.com. Barnes & Noble, Books a Million, it's a print-on-demand book. They can also find additional information from my website, www.encouragingtimescorp.com. Email address, ctoldham at verizon.net. 
The book is also available in ebook form. Could you spell your name for us, please? Yes, my name is Tanya, T-O-N-I-A, last name is Oldham, O-L-D-H-A-M. Well, this has been just great. Our guest today has been Tanya Oldham, and she is the author of Life Beyond Adversities, Memoirs of a Military Chief. Tanya, thanks very much for being with us today. Thank you, Don, for having me. I thoroughly enjoyed it. This is Don McCauley wrapping up another edition of The Author Show. Please share this interview with your family and friends so that they, too, may have the opportunity to discover our guest and her work. And why not spread the word on social media? We look forward to you joining us next time for another great book and another great author on The Author Show. Thanks for listening to The Author Show. To contact us, call toll-free 1-877-955-8800. That's 877-955-8800. Or visit theauthorshow.com. That's theauthorshow.com. Tune in next time to another great author on The Author Show. <laughs>